Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and I am back with a Valentine's card for you. I wanted to get this in because this um, sentiment comes from Everything Festive, which is in our um, holiday catalog. So you only have until January 2nd or 3rd to get this. Um, and it's got two, two Valentine sentiments in it. So if you want to get it, um, get that soon. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, but before I get started, I want to let you know that our um, occasions catalog is going to be um, starting a, the, the beginning of January, and I can't open it right now. I can show you the cover, um, but you know that celebrations also comes at the beginning of the year, so we're going to be having that as well. Um, that is only from January 3rd until March 31st. 2020. Every $50 that you spend, no matter uh, where you spend it, clearance rack, regular catalog, occasions catalog, um, for every $50 that you'll spend, you'll get something free out of this catalog. Now, the other thing that I did want to mention is on the back page of this catalog, join um, Stampin' Up! during the celebrations uh, period, and you get uh, $99, your, your starter kit's going to be $99. You get $125 worth of product that includes free shipping, plus you get a, a sampler pack of 6x6 designer series paper, so you get that. You're going to get this cute little trimmer here. So you're going to get this this little trimmer here. And then you get a stamp set of your choice for free. Um, so you get these three things included with the $99 are absolutely free. So now is a great time to, um, or January will be a great time to join Stampin' Up! Okay, if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. If you don't have a demonstrator and would like a... Um, complimentary catalog um, leave me a comment below and I can also get that for you okay so for this card you're going to need a piece of and I just had all my stuff sitting right here you're going to need here it is a piece of real red that is eight and a half by four and a quarter scored at um, eight and a half by four and a half scored at four and a quarter. So we will score that right in half and use my bone folder and give that a good crease. You're going to need a piece of flirty flamingo that is four by five and a quarter. You're going to need a piece of whisper white that is four by five and a quarter. A scrap of real red a scrap of Whisper White, um, a little scrap of our red glimmer paper, and then I am using paper from our new Occasions catalog, and this is called From My Heart Specialty Designer Series Paper, and that's because on one side you're going to get this nice foil on one side, and then the other side is just going to be a plain paper but um, you're going to get, this paper is really neat. So this, this is foiled right here. These, all these hearts are foiled right here. This side is foiled. This side is not foiled. So great, great paper. All right. Okay, so you're going to need four pieces of that, and I've used the one with the stripes and the one with the little hearts and arrows on the other side. And these, those are going to go like this on my card. And these measure two and three eighths, yes, two and three eighths by one and three quarters. Two and three eighths by one and three quarters. All right. All right, I am also using 
some of our uh, metallic edged ribbon and this is in white but as you notice on here this is 30 flamingo and all I did is take a section and I took my dark flirty flamingo and I brushed the the wide tip end brush that around along there and let it dry and then you get whatever color you use with your marker so on this one I have flirty flamingo on this one and it's going to be hard so you just um, after you uh, color it just kind of wiggle it around and it becomes soft and pliable again it just becomes real stiff all right okay so let's take our scrap piece of whisper white and <clears throat> I'm going to put that in my stamparatus here and I have my stamp on this side over here and I'm going to take my flirty flamingo ink and I'm going to ink that all up then I am going to take my real red marker because my real red marker is darker than my flirty flamingo. I'm just going to go ahead and color over these little hearts here. And it doesn't hurt my real red marker at all because it's darker than my flirty flamingo, like I said. Now you could always take your flirty, flirty flamingo and do the one part and then your real red and do the hearts. Um, if you don't like, if you, if you feel that that's not going to um, work, it's totally up to you. Let me re-ink this here. Oops. But like I said, this isn't going to hurt your marker at all because this one's darker than the other one. Okay, I must not be getting... Just get that part right there. There we go. I'm just going to ink it up one more time just right there because all the other parts are a little bit darker. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that is how you do that. All right. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the inside in just a moment. So let's take our piece of Whisper White here. And I am using the stitched nested labels. And I am using these two, so this one right here, the second one, and this, well, nope, oh, they go like this. This one goes over here, and this one goes over here. So the second of each of them, I'm using those. I'm going to use this on, I'm going to use this on the white. And I'm going to have this a little more over to the left than to the right. There is that one. Then I'm going to take my real red and I'm going to use this one for the real red. I'm also, since I am only have one sheet here, I'm going to take my scrap of, well, I was. real red shimmer paper here and this little heart is coming from the mini Kirby keepsakes box and I'm using this little heart right here so I'm just going to put that right there and cut both of these at the same time piece 
And here is my heart. It's got a little hole in the center there. Put this away so I do not lose it. All right. So this part is going to go right on here. here make sure that it's straight here all right now let's bring in our card here so this is our card I'm gonna take my piece of flirty flamingo I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the front of my card to put each one of these alternating my plat patterns here and I'm going to put these right here just like that and I'm not doing any measuring or anything eyeballing is good enough making sure that the borders are all even. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. We still have one more to go at my mom's house. I'm going to get to taking my stuff down today while well, it's so nice outside. It's 55 degrees here today in Wisconsin. All right, so there is that. Then I will take my sentiment here, and I'm going to take some dimensionals, and I just have some scraps here left. We don't want to waste those, so we will cut those up. And those are going to go on the back of this. And that can go there. And then this is going to go in the middle here. All right, now this, I'm going to take my little piece of ribbon that I, I colored. And I'm going to put that right through here. Right through the little hole. Make sure you make it long enough because this stuff does fray. Then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just tie a knot at the top. Okay. Then I'm going to take my fabric scissors and I'm just going to give this a trim. Then I'm going to take this and I'm going to take my smaller dimensionals 
and I'm going to put two of the smaller uh, dimensionals at the top of each of the parts here. Then I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to put that right down here at the bottom of the heart. And then that's just going to go right here. Did I not get my dimensional back off? I didn't. There we go. All right, so that's going to go right there. Then I'm going to take my inside and I'm going to use my flirty flamingo again. And this one says, Be My Valentine. So I'm going to stamp that up with my flirty flamingo, just like we did before. Then I'm going to take my real red marker, and there are three little hearts on here. I'm just going to go over the top of them with my real red marker. And then that's going to go in the middle. Just like that. All right. Did notice I have just a little bit that I might have missed. I'm just going to fill that in right like that. There we go. You probably couldn't even see it, but I could. All right. Now, just close this up. Bring back our card here. I'm going to use my snail and just put some. Not yet. And then this is just going to go in here. Just like that. So here is the one we just did. And here's the one that I did. Oh, forgot one thing. I took some of my shimmery crystal effects and I just took that I don't know if you can see it on the little hearts here it's just to give them a little more shine and I just kind of filled those in big one down here and if you need to you can take a pin and kind of push it where you want it to go or as I did looks like I got a little too much over on one side here so I'm going to take my pin and I'm just going to scrape that off. Just like that. All right, and that is it. Okay, so here you go. Like I said, um, the Everything Festive stamp set will be going away um, beginning of January. I can't remember if it's January 2nd or January 3rd. And of course, I don't have my catalog right here where I can look. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. Um, January 2nd. So this is going away on January 2nd. So if you want this, I'd advise you to get it now. Um, it's a good um, uh, Valentine's set to have in your stash. So if you have any questions, like I said, leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. All supplies can be purchased through my online store at www.happystamp.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.